What's up guys? Nice day out here in Phoenix and freshly washed truck. So I thought I'd give you guys a review and an update of our 2019 Z71 RST Silverado um, and some of the upgrades and modifications that we've added so far and some price points in case you guys were interested in, in, in doing some of these modifications. Um, so right off the bat, as you can see, we added the red tow hooks in the front. Um, some of these items come stock on the 2019 Trail Boss, uh, like those red tow hooks. We also added the Z Z71 badge in the front, as you can see right there. We also added these dual um, LED lights in the front, white light in the front by Rough Country, as you can see right there, that sit nice and flush, which I get compliments all the time. We also added a color match custom bow tie, as you can see right there. They typically come standard in black and chrome. Um, and I did that, that one myself. I got the red uh, vinyl cover. And then I, for the black, I used Plasti Dip to get that nice flat black. We also added the 6.2 liter um, badges in the front right there. Coming on to over here, this side, there is a Ronin factory antenna. Just gives it a little bit more aggressive look. We'll come over here on this side, a little better view. On the Z71 badging, we added a black insert. Normally, it's just a black, uh, clear space. So normally, you would see the color of your truck. So mine, you would see it red. Uh, since it already has hits of red right here, I wanted some contrast, so I just thought it looks a little bit um, unique and, and a little bit more, uh, a little bit better this way. So we like it. Add a hits of black right there. Um, we did add a lift kit by Ready Lift. As you can see right here, it's four inches in the front and three in the rear to give you a perfect level. Not too extreme, like a six inch or a seven inch but a little bit more modest than your typical, you know, two inch factory kits like the Trail Boss. We kept the same uh, gunmetal rims in 20 inch, but we added hits of red right there, as you can see on the center cap. The wheels we upgraded to 35 by 12 and a half by BFG. And these are all terrain called KO2s, nice and shined up. We added some of these cap, uh, center ca air caps right here, as you can see right there. Again, just hits. There is the the ready left upper control. The steps are by Rough Country. The drop steps. We did also add the limo tent all around. As you can see, nice and black. A little bit hard to see at night, but we get through it. Now back here on the bed, we added a low profile tonneau cover by Rough Country, as you can see right here. A little bit dusty, but it is Arizona. And it does come with a nice gloss black. So it looks nice and shiny after a wash and or detail job, as you can see right there. And that low profile makes it nice and flush. Coming over to the back side, we added a Z71 um, on the license plate cover right here, as you can see. And we also added this nice little um, tow hitch cover with the bow tie red. And it actually lights up, as you can see right there. Looks nice and it's an LED. Nice and red when you turn that on, uh, when you use the brakes or turn right. Since we're in this area back here, I thought I'd show you guys the upgrades that we did for the exhaust. We added two Super 10s Flowmasters, not just one, two. And we actually made the truck a true dual, what they call true dual. That's because instead of having a typical Y pipe, they actually have split up on their owns and two direct piping all the way direct to the front. So that costs us about, I'll give you guys prices for that in a second. We'll do the inside really quickly. 
not too much to show on the inside, but um, we'll do that nonetheless. Here we have the all-weather floor mats that came standard on these. Z71 right there. We added these, what they call from Cup Holder Hero inserts. They're throughout the entire panels and lining of the truck. Just hits a little bit, like I said, more hits of red. As you can see right here. That you guys can remove and uh, highly recommend. They're about $35. Cup Holder Hero. And it's throughout the entire truck. I'll show you guys. Again, here that is right there. And over here on the rear. Speaking of this, we have also some handles right here by GPCA that come in painted and they're in aluminum. Again, just trying to add some hits of red, make it a little bit more unique. And they come in handy when you're off-roading uh, or trying to get off the truck, especially when it's lifted. As you can see, the floor mats, nice and flush. Highly recommend, guys. You guys still living in that carpet life? Now let's go over here. Last part, promise. Uh, we added the vinyl cover right here on the steering wheel. Again, not too much red, but just enough, as you can see right there. Also trying to showcase the nice armor all job that the uh, detailers did the other day. Nice and shiny. I love it. All throughout the truck. And I forgot to mention, we also added these little... Um, chevrolet um, cup holders right there that illuminate um so you can put them in red or blue whatever you guys like and especially if you have like a water bottle it'll, it'll illuminate it pretty nicely so highly recommend those are like 10 bucks so yeah I'll give you guys a price of what most everything cost so you guys are interested in getting something like this Right off the bat, the lift kit and the tires were the most expensive thing. Uh, we actually got those from four wheel parts. Um, you know, they're gonna change their labor because they're an actual corporation, but they also gave us security and they gave us warranties, any issues for like four years, five years, um, come over here, no questions asked type of thing. So that's what we wanted, you know, for a brand new truck, we wanted some warranty and things like that. So, um, so that's gonna be a, a nice little couple change. Uh, don't have the number at the top of my head, but it was in the thousands. You know, possible 2,500 to like 3,000 probably. Uh, that's including the the all-terrain tires by BFG, which were hard to get, and also the four-inch lift kit. The red tow hooks, you're gonna find those for about, I think anywhere from uh, 100 to 110. Uh, as this car passes by, give it one second. The Z71 badge in the front, also about $80. The Rough Country LED kits are about $200. The custom bow tie, to make, it cost me about $30 to $40 with the paints and the vinyl. And they actually, at the time, didn't have it, but now they actually offer it already painted and made for you on eBay for about $60. So... If you want to just go that route which i might next time um the z71 black insert it's about 20 bucks it actually comes with the insert for the z and the one but i just decided to keep it like that for right now the ronin factory antenna it goes about i want to say 40 dollars, 35 something like that the rough country steps also go about 350 the tires, 35 by 12 and a half by BFG, go about, I think, 1400 That's what we got them for. The lift kit, like I said, it, just by itself, it costs about $700. Um, but again, we paid for the labor to get them installed professionally and with warranty. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, we're also sitting on Bora wheel spacers. All four, as you can see, so it gives us that nice... Um, aggressive about an inch and a half stance wideness 
show you guys a little bit better over here. Not too wide to have fenders, but wide enough to get a little bit more aggressive. And those are two inch Bora wheel spaces. You can see right there all throughout, as I mentioned. For the hits of red on the center cap, those are about 10 bucks for the set. The bed cover by Rough Country, that one goes about, I think it was $500. Not sure. The Z71 in the rear right here costs about 20 bucks. The tail hitch cover, about $10, $14. The exhaust, both of them, we got them individually and then we pay for the labor. That total was about four to $500. What am I missing here? The cup holder heroes. The inserts are about $35. These rubber mats, if you want to add them to yours for the set, it's about 200, 250 about. I'm missing anything. The tent, that costs us about $90 GM, or sorry, 3M tent. And now, let me turn on the exhaust for you guys. See how that 